Hi guys, it's Debbie, and today I'm back to speak about a probably unpleasant topic, and that is the new Fifty Shades Darker trailer. Uh, now, I am wearing, as you can see, glasses, but not because I am short-sighted, but because I've been blinded by the disastrous catastrophe this trailer is. And if I hadn't already learned from my mistakes of seeing the film and reading the whole three books, I also saw this new trailer and I thought I could spare some words for you about this. I know the trailer came out a few weeks ago but I was secretly hoping in my heart that somehow the world would just forget about the Fifty Shades trilogy actually existing and we would just skip it for this year. For all of you out there blessed by the fact of not knowing what Fifty Shades about, let me just introduce it to you. The Fifty Shades trilogy is an erotic thriller trilogy based on the books of the same name by E.L. James. And uh, in 2015, the first instalment of the film trilogy came out, Fifty Shades of Grey, and it received, just as the books, a lot of success. So uh, a lot of people did go to see the film, but it did receive a huge amount of negative reviews. And at the 36 um, Raspberry Awards, it actually won a lot of awards. I've got to search this, I uh, can't remember all of them. Winning Worst Picture, Worst Actor, Worst Actress, Worst Screen Combo, and Worst Screenplay. Now, the Fifty Shades trilogy is the love story between Anastasia Anna, which is a university student, and Mr. Grey, a millionaire, multimillionaire, billionaire, I'm, I'm not sure, he just seems to get richer throughout the books. And basically, Mr. Grey and Anastasia um, meet and fall in love and start a relationship after uh, a disastrous interview she carries out in his office, which sort of brings them together. Now the problem is, Mr. Grey only has a relationship with his partners after signing a contract with them, uh, by which this partner will obey all a series of rules. So his partner will have to obey the rules about how she speaks, what she wears, how she refers to him. Anna is not allowed to even to call him Christian, she's only allowed to call him Mr. Grey, um, how she will appear in the public. And the rules also contain some rules about the uh, sexual relationship they will begin together. As a matter of fact, after a childhood trauma, Mr. Grey, so Christian, um, isn't able to have what he calls plain vanilla sex, but he only does BDSM practices with his partner based on a contract. Mr. Grey soon starts to have feelings for Anna and doesn't understand why he is able to have this vanilla sex with her. He starts to fall in love with her and dot dot dot. Now before I keep on ranting about uh, this trilogy, I just want to clarify that there is absolutely nothing wrong with what a person decides to do um, in their life. So a person can just do whatever they want with whoever they want or decide to do nothing with nobody. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody's free to express their sexual life and love life in the way they consider the best for them. A couple of weeks ago, the trailer for the second installment, so the trailer for Fifty Shades Darker came out in which apparently the plot thickens greatly with something a bit more action-packed such as helicopters flying over the city and Anna running out of buildings hugging Christian. So apparently they're trying to make something that will appeal to a wider audience after the terrible fiasco of the first film. But if this is the trailer, I am terrified of how the film is going to be because if even we forget for a moment what the film is actually about, so the actual Fifty Shades story is about and focus just on the trailer that's just as bad it's done terribly with repeated scenes these one-liners this terrible background music and the action scenes in the trailer aren't actual action scenes they're just some scenes from the film put in such way to make the film look slightly more exciting to appeal to a wider audience and we have this woman menacingly saying you thought you were the only one that could save Christian so yes, the plot greatly thickens, um, <laughs> but I think it's a just a cringy attempt at trying to show that Fifty Shades isn't as bad as it seems. Trying to advertise the film as something better than the first instalment after all the negative reviews it received, but um, the plot is so thin that I doubt they'll manage to create anything deeper than the first film, because the Fifty Shades trilogy plot is based just on this rickety relationship between uh, Anna and Christian and if I had to sum up the whole plot it would just be Christian and Anna 
having sex, discussing and attending public events. And also money, money, money. It's pushed into our face as much as possible that Kristen has all this money. He's so rich, he buys anything Anna wants. He buys her cars, he buys her clothes, he feeds her, he lives in this huge house. That's the whole plot summed up. And they do nothing else. It sometimes seems like the author took every stereotypical thing a woman could want. So money, a person that tells her to eat constantly all day, because this is what Christian says to Anna, he's constantly repeating, you should eat, 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 eat. He buys her everything she wants, he, she, he pleasures her. These are the stereotypical things a woman should want, and which are completely packed into this trilogy. Now don't get me wrong, Fifty Shades would have been perfect if it had just stayed a uh, erotic thriller novel. The thing is, we're trying to bring this onto the big screen as an enormous blockbuster, but that means about six hours in total, if we consider three films, revolving around the thinnest plot you could ever imagine. And we're glorifying a relationship in which Anna is basically uh, just a slave to Christian. And I know a lot of people enjoy the dominance and submission roleplay, and there's nothing wrong with that. But here it's more um, uh, Anna complying to anything Christian uh, says just to not enrage him. Because of this control freak ego, he will be enraged whenever something just goes slightly out of place. So it's not her being consensual uh, because she wants to be, but at some point she just is just to not infuriate him. So basically it's just that marry the rich guy situation because he will just give you anything you want but it's been spread out on three books and will be and somehow in somehow it will be thread spread out on six hours of film and I, I have no idea how they're going to do this the first installment wasn't bad enough the, the second one is frightening although i am curious i'll definitely watch the actual film i did read the books but a long time ago and my brain did fail unfortunately to retain a lot of information about these books so there are some points that i can't really remember very well so I'll be very curious to see how the plot will deeply thicken. <laughs> Let me know if you saw the Fifty Shades Darker trailer and what you thought about it and I'll see you soon in a new video. Bye!